Okay, I'm gonna mix a wash. And I'm gonna use some quinacridone coral. Let's just use some new game bosch. And I want to get just an orange there. And if anything, I'm going to thin that out some because a light orange is sort of a peachy skin tone. It's not really skin color. It's brighter and 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 redder than that. But then when we come back and we put other colors on top of it, it comes out about right. Okay, so, I don't want outlines like I just did there, but I'm going to paint around these areas, and like I said, this is arbitrary. One could decide that that area was lighter or that this little area on the thumb was lighter. You don't have to make a perfect representation for it to work out and be believable. So, let's start with this finger and we will just paint around this area. There's a little shadow on this side of the finger. And I'm working pretty wet. And I, I, I like to use a flat brush on these because I like, I get kind of a carved out shape. That really happens later on. But. Let's go ahead here. Hmm. Maybe a little bit right in there. And see, I'm just continuing this same wet. Oh, oops, oops. I forgot that area. Well, I screwed that up. We'll, we'll live over it. I seem to be accident prone today. Uh, let's go here and cut into the nail a little bit. Okay, we're gonna come down and we're gonna leave an area approximately here. I may not get it perfectly right. It'll, it'll do well enough. I could and probably should soften a couple of these edges Let's do that. I think I've got this wet enough. I'm going to just break that up just a little bit. I don't really need to do it on the nail. Just enough that it doesn't feel really... Uh, there. Okay. Let's come right here. I said I made that lighter and again... That could have been treated differently there. And I'm going to color in the nail on this. You could, as someone asked me about the other day, you could actually change color here a little bit if you wanted to. Uh, if you're, if you can do that. I mean, it will work. We've got some color changes already happening in here, though. And I do think that it's harder for people that are learning this to do things like that. As I have proved on my own video by messing up already multiple times. All right. So, oh, let's get this thumb. I could probably do this without any runbacks here. That thumb's going to be really dark later, but I'll just go ahead and keep it this value for now. Oh, in this little spot right here, if you really want to get everything really right, and by the way, this isn't in the drawing, uh, that's a little bit of the heel of the hand. And this is the knuckle of the thumb that's highlighted. Okay. That's step one. Well, now we'll go to more obvious areas. These are just easier to spot, and this is what I started my class out with. Uh, we're gonna look at the darkest areas. 
more darker areas. Could be here. There's comes up here. There's kind of a little bump around here. So see, this is not what you're expecting hands to do at all. We're trying to avoid the tube fingers. Okay, so we're not like shading on both sides of the finger to make it look round. It's not what we need right here. Now this part of the finger, and, and you'll see this later, but I'm gonna make a line here. This part of the finger, here's the knuckle and then this is the side of the finger that you're seeing that's behind the knuckle, like, like this part of a finger right here. Here, when we get over here, you're not really getting the same perspective on it. So it looks a little different. Here, I think I will just come along like this and do something like that. I could have a little area right there and here. Again, you notice that how much redder that area is right there. So I'm gonna go around the finger and all this is gonna be dark. Well, I made that I don't know what that is. If that's a, I don't think that's a highlight on the finger. I think that's something in behind, but I'm not sure. So all of this area actually continues all the way down the hand. And you could make this kind of like that. And there. Whoa, that's a lot. Seeing all of this is hand. Okay. Well, let's have a go at it. So here's what I suggest. It can get a little hard to connect all of these areas. So what if we do uh, an area at a time? So I'm going to pick this area up to the ring and include all of this at one go around. You notice that I'm not shading right now the tops of the fingers at all. Um, I'm, that's part of trying to avoid that tube finger look that I think is just abominable. Well, first thing, let's check how the color is going to look. Or, I shouldn't say color. We're going to stick with this color for now. Is this going to be strong enough? Remember, this gets other color on top of it. So, we're not trying to get this dark yet, if we ever get quite that dark let's see if I if I pl apply this really kind of um, thick is the wrong word but let's say luxuriously yeah luxuriously doesn't that sound classy okay luxuriously around okay we're gonna come here and that highlight is above the knuckle, the way that I drew it. The thing is that, wait a minute, I can't talk and do this. That's what gets me in trouble on demos. Well, one of the things, a lot of things get me in trouble on demos. Okay. Okay, we'll do that and then thing there and we're going to soften some edges because that really would look like a paint by number painting wouldn't it so let's let's come in here Oop, didn't get quite all the paint out of my brush Okay, right there. So we'll let that dry and we'll skip this finger and we'll go up to the next one. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go here and down to the knuckle. This is kind of behind the knuckle. See, you can see a couple of wavy areas there around the knuckles. Not at all 
what your left brain wants to tell you a knuckle looks like. Oh, I was going to skip this, wasn't I? And go to the next finger, and I didn't. <sighs> well, it's just one of those days, I guess. Like that. Oh, and there's a little line there. Okay, let's soften the edges. Whoa. I think I gotta come back and work on that edge. You know what I did? I softened all the edges. I really need to start this whole thing over. I don't want to soften all the edges. But I just did, didn't I? Not on this one. Okay. I'll try to do a better job of explaining on the next one. Ha ha ha. Okay, again, we're gonna cover this area. There's a bump there. See, it's not at all the shapes that you're thinking about being on a finger. Okay. Here's where I remembered to skip one. I'm doing that part right. All right, right here. Wow, I think I did that pretty well. <laughs> now, the trick here, the trick that I think has the best look is actually you don't soften everything. You soften some places. And and you choose what places. Uh, but I wouldn't soften more than half of it. Oh, except maybe on this fingernail. Okay, there we go. I happen to like that look. You could do a soft edge on everything. That'd be a little bit more realistic. Uh, I don't think it has quite the artistic impact that just breaking up a few edges has. And in fact, I've just become almost, almost religious about it. Okay, so we're just going to Go ahead and deepen this some more. We know that's got to get a lot darker. But we'll just do that while we're doing this. So let's see. Go back and maybe touch those up just a little bit. Okay, we still got this finger. Oh, and down here. Let's do this while that's drying. Uh, am I on the... Yeah. Okay. This part is darker right down here I didn't need to draw this one off and you could lightly draw this with a pencil if you wanted to uh, it's probably always going to show and you might not like that I'm going to soften this whole edge you might not like that uh, you know where the pencil lines are later but if you're just getting the hang of this or if you're having an off day, <clears throat> then you might want to draw some lines. M my objective in this, what I really want is I want you to see the shapes and be able to replicate them and to have some confidence that even though you didn't do it perfectly, that somehow or another, it still makes a piece of art. Okay, so here, we've just basically got that area that is in shadow, or shade is darker, I should say, a little darker than the rest of it. So we come up and behind here, and then oh, almost scoop down like that. So you've got to, uh, whether you drew on this or not, you, you need to really closely observe it as you are working. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm getting some bad runny places. Uh, 
And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, look at this. I missed this entirely. See right there is where the forearm is in front of the, you know, the bicep area. Right there. Okay, so we're going to need... It's not too wet. We're going to need a little division right here where it's going to go darker. And I'm just doing one hand in this video. I figure once you got the hang of it, and this is the tougher hand with more on it, that you won't have any trouble with that other side. Okay, so right there. That'll work. Okay, here we go. This is the video on doing the hands on the uh, onion painting. You remember the onion painting? Yeah. There we go. Okay. I do have that in the right place. So let's look at this. Uh, first of all, I, I didn't bother with putting the blouse in, but here is some of our colors from our background and the onions, you know, just sort of. This is like that first wash that we put on. And so we have some skin color in here. And everyone has a different amount of skin color. And then uh, there's, there's, uh, well, all of this is different. The, I, sorry. The, Sophie, Sophie, thank you. Sophie, please. Shh. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw where I'm going to put some more skin color in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squint real hard at this and look for just the lightest areas. By the way, this is not quite how I did it with my classes. Okay, so this fingernail is light. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, we'll have to work around that. <laughs> this fingernail is light right there and if i squint well this fingernail is really light too not quite the whole fingernail that one's pretty light you know what we'll just go ahead and count that can't believe i drew on that but we don't care it's just a demo all right so when i squint again maybe this skin right in here is lighter and you know what that knuckles a little bit lighter maybe maybe right here there's a light spot this might be lighter you know it's there this is all arbitrary no matter what you do you're making some arbitrary choices i thought that was light but it's really not that light all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a wash of a skin color. Okay, I think I may have messed up on this video. We're trudging on with it anyway, though. Here I've got some white ink. I think the other day I demonstrated for some people and I demonstrated too many colors in too many places and I know it had to be confusing to look at. I'm just going to take Cerulean. Cerulean is kind of my go-to safe blue, except the times when it's not safe, but that's another story. And I'm going to pull it into the white ink. There. So I've got some white here, and I've got some light blue, and I've got some plain cerulean. They're probably going to mix themselves on me, though. Now, I 
let's look at this. You could do this with blue or green, maybe some of both. Uh, some of you may want to use purples. I wouldn't use more than maybe two other colors because this could start looking like a calico quilt here. So these areas on the back of the hand are darker, especially under here, but they're also bluer, almost blue grayish something. Actually, and I see greens in there. I don't know. So here's the thing. If I want something to go quite a bit darker, I might just use cerulean without the white. So let's do that first. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in a really thin glaze of cerulean and see what it looks like. Oops, not enough. I never just start painting something by the book, sort of. I, I, uh, I always have to stop and see what the results are. But I know sometimes people want to just get instructions and just start doing stuff, like two parts blue to one part something else. It, it just doesn't work like that. Especially with watercolor, there's always this need to adjust sometimes. There, okay. I'm softening this edge. I've gone on up in here. So right now, it almost looks purpley. I don't think it will dry. But actually, kind of one purpley's too. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So this one, let's come... Well, I guess I should draw this out. Let's come right up under there so it gets blue. Oh, no. It gets blue right up under there. Where's my pen? It gets blue up under here. There's a little blue spot there. But let's not think about those yet. Okay. Let's think about this blue, which is a little darker. And, oh, let's look at this blue, which is a lot darker. Okay. So let's do those two. So I'm going to use just my plain cerulean. And I'm paying attention to my photo. You know, it would have been smart if I'd gotten that out of the way. There. So, I am going to, oh, that's a lot of blue. That's too much blue. Well, we'll just fix that. We'll see about that, won't we? I'm going to soften that edge, and if you've got a thirsty brush, you can just pull this up. Or you can order blotter paper. Okay. So a little more water into that. So it'll be a little thinner next time out. And I'm going to go here and up that way. Oh, that didn't get much thinner, did it? It's because this isn't as dark as what I've got down here, maybe. Or my color's stronger. Well, I can't have that. I'm going to pull some of that up. And there's green underneath this. So we're getting we're getting a real interesting area there. Now, if we just left it just like this, it would simply look like she had bruises, which she does not. Let's go and let's get some of this blue that's mixed with the white ink now. We're going to keep it thin. And we're going to come up under this knuckle. Oh my gosh, well, that, that looks so different than what we just put in. How can that be? Well, actually, I don't know. Let's put a little bit of it down here, too. Now, when this dries, it's going to be a whole lot weaker. Don't think of this, you know, you're using white ink, but don't think of this as you're covering up. This is just a way to weaken the blue, make it softer, 
Uh, it's got just a little bit more of a skin feel to it. Look, it's changing in front of our eyes as it dries. It's starting to look really pretty there. Okay, I think, see, this is the finger. It has a, like a blue spot there and a little blue right under here. Uh, so here and a blue spot is sort of like in that divide right there between those two knuckle bones. Well, I don't know if there's two bones there. I don't know what it is, but it's a, you know, it's got that shape. Like when you're chewing on a chicken, you've seen that shape. Okay. So I pull that on down over this, particularly this green area. And I'm going to soften some edges here. You know, maybe on this one, I'm just going to lift a little bit. I don't think I want to soften edges. I kind of like that little spot. Okay, more blue with white ink. And we'll come, that's, that's really reddish, but I'm gonna put a little blue in there anyway. I may come back with some red on top of it. I'm gonna pull it down over this dark. Remember, this is transparent. We're working very thin. This is still transparent paint. Like they sell paints that, uh, watercolors that have this much white in them, some of them. Holbein's got a lavender. There's a bunch of pre-mixed grays that do this. Okay, I'm pleased with that. Now, let's look at the tops of the fingers. You see how that's cooler there and there? And by cooler, I mean a little bit bluer there. Ooh, look at the blue on that nail. Okay, let's put some of that in. Oh, and look at this down here. If you want a place to practice to get the feel of it because you're a little bit afraid of it, see that? That's that's just a gray, but it's got a blue haze to it. And, and that's, that's what this really creates. It's something that's kind of a hazy bit of color. And let's put a little more blue right down in there because... I just decided I wanted it. Okay, soften some edges on this because I want this to just all feel curved. There's not any hard edge shapes there. Well, just monkey with that a little bit, move it around just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We need something here. That's really redder. I haven't decided about that. We'll come back to that. So, now this area, let's get a little more shape into this. Oh, yeah, I didn't even do the part I was talking about, did I? Okay, we'll, we'll be back on that in just a second. I want to, there, graduate some of that into that darker blue. Now, I was talking about these areas being a little bit bluish on the backs of the fingers. Well, it doesn't really show on mine so much, but this is not the pink. The pink areas, here. The pink areas are like here. See the difference in color between the back of my finger and the tip of my finger? Okay. We take advantage of that because there's all kinds of places here to play and make pretty little color shifts. So what I'm going to do, see that little bit of blue that I just put on there? It is so slight, so weak. It may be too weak. We'll see. I'm just taking some of this. It's really, whoop, that's a little stronger. Let's add a little over there. And the thing, too, with this white ink, you have, you have time to shift it around and work with it a little bit. It's a little bit easier to handle. So, oh, that's kind of not, I know that this is going to dry darker. I don't think it'll be too blue. I'm going to leave that like that. Let's see. Oh, there's, there's a little blue. Let's make it a little darker blue. That is a little tip right here on this fingernail. I don't know. Maybe she dropped a hammer on it or something. And let's, let's put a little bit of cool 
right into there. Well, that doesn't really look right on the tip of a finger. She did drop a hammer. But that's what we've got in the picture is a little, it's just less red. Okay. Now up here. I want a little of this on all of these. I think we need a little bit more right down there, a little bit stronger. Right in through there. And this almost comes up to here. So I have some hard and soft edges on this, but it's hardly noticeable that they exist because I've kept this so subtle. We could put a little bit of blue on these nails too. I suspect that we're gonna have to come back and add a little bit more color on those nails yet, but for right now, let's just give them a little bit of blue. Now, what about this area here? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, right here, too. This is a really just dull, quiet area. Well, that looks pretty not dull, doesn't it? Let's put a little white on it. The other thing that the white does, in a way, sometimes it can brighten something like a blue uh, or a purple, but at the same time, it, it in the way it dries, it dries a little bit duller. So, uh, it's just sort of how you apply it and how much. And the main thing I can say about that is you just need to watch it and see. Sometimes you might want to wash some up or you might want to add some more. You've got a little bit of time where it'll come up pretty easily. Okay, here we go there. I'm going to make this a little redder right here. This is that... The, you know, the inside of the elbow, I guess, is what you'd call it. And it's just a little bit warmer. It's got more light hitting it. So, again, y'all are used to my softening edges. I don't have to explain all that on every video, do I? So, that's a little bit too much of a thing going on there. When that's dry, I think I may put a little bit more blue back in there. So, you can see that you've got a lot of hand shape. You've got some color movement. Uh, I think we could still use a little bit more reds in some places. Like right here. And let's, let's not soften all the edges. Let's soften a couple of edges and leave some of it. You know, you've got, you've got choices. And, and the thing is, you don't have to do yours exactly like mine. I don't know that I would do mine quite like this if I did it all over again. Um... I have trouble doing things the same way twice. And sometimes that really makes it hard on students, I'll admit. I think I want a little bit more of my, going back to my reddish skin color, I want a little bit more of that up here on the tip of this finger. But the nails do have a lot less color in them. You can see looking at mine. And there's a little bit of a shadow right here in front. It's not on the nail here. It's in, it's, uh, it's on the skin. And I need to do that on all of these. Just a little bit of a shadow. Oop, that's kind of thick. 
I didn't mean to make it that deep. And of course, this poor finger. This poor finger is beyond ever fixing. Okay, uh, let's use a little bit more of the strong red. Well, I'm trying to do this without moving. Boy, that does look strong. And we need a shadow. Actually, you could pretty much use a pencil line. Uh, this is the underneath of the nail. Mm, don't know what I want to use for that. I really didn't want it to be real red. But that nail shape along there, where you're seeing the end of the nail, tells you that that is the, the thumb is pointed this way. That's what really explains it. Without that, it's kind of strange. Now, how do we feel about these blues? Uh, this is not, hmm, I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do something different again than what I do with classes. Um, I need to get it dry, but I also need to put some strong color down in here. I actually picked up a uh, Quinburnt Scarlet just because it's a little duller. And so it's gonna help that recede once I change it up. But I think I'm gonna pull a, a, a little surprise on you. Well, actually it's gonna be a surprise on me too, probably. Okay, so it's time to do something about this color. Let's, let's add some more red into it. And, and I'm using the coral. You know, I really love the coral, and it's easy to work with. It's easy to lift, too. But I have noticed that in photographs, it comes out stronger and brighter. And uh, sometimes I'm not happy with how things photograph when I use it. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm tempted, I didn't do this in my other group, I'm tempted to uh, change something up here. Maybe let's work a little wet in wet here. I'm just wetting this part of this finger. I might just use a little bit stronger color here because I'm working wet and wet. And I'm gonna to touch in those extra red areas. This would be another way of doing it. I kinda of like some right there. And this area gets darker. It's not necessarily getting redder, but it's enough darker. I think I'll do that. And then I'm going to put red down here. I actually left this area dry. You see that little brush hair on there? We we'll just ignore that. That goes away all on its own when this dries, and you'll never know it was there. I know it freaks some people out, but let's do that. This is a little kinder, gentler. Okay, it's a little easier way to do this. We'll just do a mix of stuff. So, if you didn't, if you were in class and we didn't do this this way, then uh, you can be mad at me later. If you decide that it would have been better like that. I'm not saying it's better. Okay, let's wet this area down. Don't touch that. Just get it wet part way up. This part of the arm has a lot less red in it. That's better than saying it's cooler, isn't it? It just has less red in it. But I'm gonna put a little bit in here because we're gonna to wanna to get some depth in this. So I'll just do a little bit of that. 
Oh, you know what? I could pull a little bit of that red out into here. Let's put them in the same world. Yeah. Okay. That made me happy. Okay. I'm taking up too much stuff in the way here. Okay, so let's go up to, let's skip up to this finger. This one's got, let's see, pick up a little bit more of the stronger queen coral. See, we've got that little, see that little red area right there? I don't even think I have to mess with that any. Okay, up here, I think I'm gonna just work dry. And what I wanna do, when you do this, you turn one thing, you turn another. I'm just doing this to make it easier for me to get my brush up in here. And this thumb looks really red. You know, the tips of your fingers, uh, the underside tips of your fingers have got a lot more red to them. Actually, mine are red all over, but uh, unless you have dishpan hands or they're really old, See, you notice I'm pulling some color up here and softening the edge, and I'll have to keep an eye on that. So my next step is gonna be, cause I got that really wetter than, than uh, normal. Oh, I should hold it like this. Since I got it wetter than normal, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and dry that. <laughs> 